Welcome back to the Trivia 10 with James Devney from Raiders of the Lost Podcast. We saw him on Tuesday do very well, getting a 65 out of 100. But now it's time to put the tail end on his score and play three rounds of the real reveal game to see where he's going to officially stack up for the quad three of the Trivia 10 season three. So we're back playing real reveal. This isn't a game you've played yet before um, because it was introduced last season in the Elite Eight round, I believe, and you were uh, eliminated in the Sweet 16 round. So this is going to be the first time you played this on the Trivia 10. Um, how are you feeling going into it? I'm excited. I have no idea what I'm about to see, but let's do it, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's go into this thing. So, new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. And remember, you can play this game for yourself, MovieReveal.io. So go and check it out. So, how this is going to work is there's a movie, um, just any random movie, and the only criteria is you've logged it on Letterbox. So that's what the scope is. Anything you've logged in Letterbox, and you're going to you get 150 points off the bat. But every clue you reveal is going to subtract points from that. So you have director, lead actor, second build actor, third build actor release year, writers, cinematographer, genres, your letterbox score, letterbox average, number of words in the title, duration, global box office, Oscar nominations, and your last date watch. We're going to play three rounds total of this of three different movies. Um, and you try and try and pick clues off and guess what movie it is with the least amount of points subtracted. Like some people stay away from the top three completely and just try and go like writer release year and like a letterbox score and try and get it from there so there, we've seen some very incredible very low scores in this thing but also we've seen some people that just like aren't able to get it and it's a tough one and they have to burn you know quite a bit of points in order to get it so everyone's had very different strategies i'm excited to see what yours is going to be but uh where do you want to start for your first clue and then also uh, every time you guess and get it wrong it'll be subtracting five points so you kind of want to gotcha. like pick clues off to get to the point where you're like okay i'm pretty confident in this guess before you throw something out and lose five points so this is cool i like this, this is a cool where do game. you want to start let's do let's go with uh your last date watched interesting your last date watch you marked this movie as watched one year ago on letterboxd all so. right let's go with number of words in title all right number of words in the title this movie has two words in the title Two words, well, marked it as watched a year ago, and you've logged in on Letterboxd. This is interesting. This is a cool game you came up with, man. Yeah, it's a, it's very fun to see everyone's strategy. Everyone try like, usually the top three, the director, lead actor, second build, is like, that's like, save that for like panic mode, disaster mode. Like, you just genuinely can't think of it. So try and not use those big points ones early. You know what? Let's go with director. Fuck it. Yeah. Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson is a director. Okay. So which two word title Wes Anderson movie did you mark as watched two or one year ago? Hmm. Asteroid again, City. Be, it is not Asteroid City. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So five points you subtracted there. Do you want another clue, or do you have another West think, Anderson guess? Um, let me think. Boom, boom. Not that. Not that. Give me... The thing is, like, you... <laughs> <laughs> you do a second build or third build or lead actor. It's all the same in all of his movies. <laughs> right. A lot of these things, he works with the same people. So it's tough. Let's go with, and so I'm losing points every time I guess wrong. Correct. Okay. All right. Let me just think of his two word title movies. See, we got mm -hmm. bottle rocket. We got moonrise kingdom. We got, I'm trying to remember. Is it the French dispatch or French dispatch? Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's go with the release here. Yeah, logical choice there. So 2012. Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise Kingdom is correct. When uh when you first revealed Wes Anderson, I was like, Asteroid City, Moonrise Kingdom should be the only two. And then you started listing them off. I'm like, oh yeah, Bottle Rocket. French yeah. Dispatch, which honestly, I actually don't know. Like, is it the or is it French Dispatch? I think but, it's the at the top of my yeah. head. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it makes sense. There. And, and it's smart to go to release your strategy because like you said, like, this one's a little different because Jared Gilman's the lead actor, Bruce Willis is the third build, and Carrie mm -hmm. Hayward's second. So it's not really the usual suspects. But if it was like a if like Bill Murray popped up or Jason Schwartzman, you'd be like, well, yeah. that doesn't help me at all. Yeah. But 102 points out of 150 in the first one. But we got two more rounds of this. So do you want to start oh, with cool. a, a different strategy or a new same strategy? Where do you want to start with this time? I want to go. Um, 
director. Director off the rip. The director of this one is Yorgos Lanthimos. Release year. Yeah, it should should get you there. 2018. 2018, your ghost. Um, fucking. Oh, what the fuck did he make in 2018? What did he make before? Poor things. Fuck. Oh, um, the favorite. Yep, I, I knew it was just a matter of time that the lightning yeah. bolt was going to hit you. And <laughs> the favorite would come to your mind, but yeah, because I, I think the lobsters like a couple years before twenty that. like twelve or something yeah. like that twenty four yep. thirteen. But that would also have been two words. So and the poor things, I got a lot of his titles are two words. That one wouldn't really yeah. help you there. But uh, yeah, the favorite is correct. One hundred thirteen. So you improved on your last score there. So you got one hundred thirteen out of one hundred fifty for a total between the two of two hundred fifteen. So now you're on your final round, new movie, last one. Where do you want to start this time? I wonder if I can do it in fewer points, but I, the director release here is for me, even though I'm using up a chunk of points, I know people's filmography so well. So mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to rock that again. Let's go director. Director first for 25 points, Quentin Tarantino. Just give me a release here. Release year 2015. So 2015 Tarantino. We have. The movie he made before Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> it's so funny when you're doing the game. You're like, wait, I can't think of his movies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so he made. Wait, what the fuck did he make in 2015? Hold on. Tarantino. Glorious. Django. It's not Django. Fucking! Why am I blanking on this right now? It's a lot different when the the lights are on and the stage is on. Wow! Why can't I think of what he made before Once Upon a Time? I'm gonna beat the shit on myself later for this. Just start naming every Tarantino movie you can think. I know. Of. <laughs> I could go. It's it's Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Kill Bill, Kill Bill Two, and then we have Inglorious Bastards, Django, and then. Obviously, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, Hateful Eight. <laughs> there you go. Again, like the favorite, I was just waiting for the lightning bolt to hit. It was coming eventually. <laughs> but the Hateful Eight is correct. So you get another 113 there. So your total score is 328 points here. So again, we don't know how this going to stack up in the quadrant. But uh, it's going to be the, the sum of your score for what your total score this season is going to be. So that means, what would that be? Quick math, 65 and 328 is 393 so again we don't really know if that's a great score middle middle score bad score because we have to see what the other people stack up as but i think uh i think it should be one that should be able to get you in the playoffs but uh we'll Sweet. have to see what other people do um the thing is with the the real reveals some people are able to get them in like such low points but the thing is when they go the strategy of like the lower stuff like uh writer and then like their letterbox score like they could get like 17 points which is super low but if like that fails them they're like crap i don't know who this writer or cinematographer is and then they have to resort to d director and release here later after they already burned like 30 points that's when you can have like a disaster round so like your strategy is like the perfect in terms of you Try, you're trying not, to get it on the fairway man just trying right. to set up myself up for good exactly <laughs> yeah you're not going to be getting the hole in one but you're, you're not going to be yeah like you said like a double bogey or or getting you know forced on in the next hole so i'm hitting par great. yeah exactly great score uh, how do you feel about how you did today on these three uh, i think i did good in those the quads so that was that was a lot of fun that's a really cool game that, that i think you did a great job coming up with that thank you yeah it's, it's been a fun one it's fun because there's no strategy like everyone does something different and it's, it's very fun to see what people come up with and what ways they go about it so what did um, my brother do when he did his oh man i don't know his I'll have to watch it then. When yeah, it comes um, I can't remember, but it's been a while since I have so many backlog that like we, we filmed that one <laughs> so long ago. But um, yeah, three twenty eight is where you're ending at today. Um, again, anyone watching this, you can play it for yourself. MovieReel.io. There's new movies on there every single day, and you can and see where you stack up with everyone else who plays the game. Um, but with that, new episodes every Tuesday and Friday, and we'll see uh, as this quad goes on if we're going to see James again in the playoffs. So we'll have to just wait and see how the other scores fall. But James, thank you for joining once again this season, and uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks for having me, pal.